If I do an orthotopic transplant, the donor heart will fail. It won't be able to pump against that kind of pressure. I can do this. I assisted on one during my fellowship. Alex, there are four doctors in the world who know how to do this operation. Now there'll be five. That's a scene from the new NBC show Heartbeat. It follows the colorful adventures of a female heart surgeon in and out of the hospital. And in real life, though, heart surgery remains a male-dominated yeah. world. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge sat down with one local surgeon who has shattered that glass ceiling. Doc? Well, that's right, Carmen and Devin. You know, female heart surgeons are rare. Pediatric female heart surgeons, they are even more so. But that didn't stop Dr. Jennifer Romano from following her dream and devoting her life to repairing the tiniest of hearts. I think there's maybe 10 female pediatric cardiac surgeons in the country now, so it's still a pretty rare breed. As a pediatric heart surgeon at U of M's CS Mott Children's Hospital, Dr. Jennifer Romano is a rare breed indeed. She looks bigger than last time, huh? <laughs> she is such a chunkamonka. Today she's checking on baby Molly and reassuring Molly's mom. The next one may not be the last one, okay. but just as long as we live to fight another day, yeah. we take it. Romano says she was always drawn to pediatric heart surgery, but... I thought becoming a pediatric heart surgeon was kind of like becoming an astronaut, so I never really thought it was possible when I was a medical student. I finally actually admitted to somebody, I'm like, I'd love to be a pediatric heart surgeon, but that's not doable, and they looked at me like, what do you mean? Like, if anybody can do it, you can do it. I'm like, really? She did, but she understands why many women shy away from the sacrifices it requires. Four years of medical school and then 10 years of surgical training. So I wasn't actually done training and getting my first job until I was 35. So kind of gets in the way of life. While her life might not be quite as dramatic as a primetime show, it has its moments. I start and stop babies' hearts every day for a job, so there's inherently some stress and drama in it. Then there's her personal life. Romano's husband, Matthew, is an adult heart surgeon. There is no other two heart surgeon couple that I know of, at least in, in the world. They have two children, three-year-old Maximilian and one-year-old Allegra. It does have its challenges. I think the other day, he was trying to coordinate a heart transplant. I got called because there was a kid in the unit that needed to go emergently to the operating room. You know, we're both like <laughs> And he was like, this was not a good idea. <laughs> but at the end of the day, having a spouse that understands truly what I do is huge. All I have to do is say a couple of words of what happened that day, and he understands the whole thing. He's been there. He's walked in those shoes. Well, maybe not these shoes. In addition to her skill and dog determination, Romano is also well known for her footwear. Killer high heels at the hospital, her lucky pink flowered clogs in the OR. These are actually kids' clogs that I bought on Clarence a long, long time ago for like $7. Just wanted to take a peek. Romano says becoming a mom has made her even more aware of the trust parents place in her. On the rare occasions when a patient can't be saved, and there are literally days that I leave my heart on the table, that it's just, there aren't really words to describe how deeply emotionally attached you get and trying to make sure that you do everything you can and some days, no matter how hard you try, you can't fix anything. Those are the cases she never forgets. But when everything goes right, I tell families, I'm like, they're like, how can we ever thank you? I'm like, just send me a Christmas card every year. Just seeing cute, fat, healthy babies and kids leave the hospital and go on and live their lives, that's success for me. Now, Romano recently started working part-time, and for a surgeon, that's still 40 to 50 hours a week, but it's allowing her to spend more precious time with her family. And boy, doesn't she needs that. <laughs> did she share with you what her uh, opinion is of this new show, this new drama? <laughs> yeah, she did, actually. You know, she says that any time young women can see other young women succeeding in a field that they might not have considered, it's always a good thing. And she wants them to know it's not all glitz and glamour, but it certainly doesn't hurt to make it fun for TV. And incidentally, the actual drama, Heartbeat, is based on a real female cardiothoracic surgeon who spent time at, as a fellow at the University of Michigan. So mm. there is another deeper connection, connection. right there as well. That.